What is going on, Ham Fam? Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, even whoever it's time you're watching this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today is a very special video. We are about to meet Everything Diesel, aka her Cameron, aka Everything Diesel. So, uh, his channel will be linked in the description. We just put the headlights and wrap on today. So, the truck's looking really nice. Just waxed yesterday. And uh, we're going to go meet him at the mall real quick. And we're going to give you a nice little comparison between 5 inch exhaust on a 5 not, or no, excuse me, he has a 6.7. 6.7 Cummins or 6.6 Duramax. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, smash that thumbs up. It really means a lot. It helps the channel out a lot. And uh, I will catch you as soon as we get there. Across the street to the doctor's park area there. Oh, that, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Where the doctor's right there. office by the vet, is by the, vet, by the yeah. vet ER and stuff. Uh, just right across the street. You all have a good one. You as well. What year are those trucks? Uh, 06. In 2008. Wow. Yeah. You take care of our work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you can polish a turd. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so new location we got kicked out, but uh we do a super chill about it. I respect that. I mean It is what it is. Everything's shut down so we can't film here or just be on the property at all So we're about to head over here to this like dialysis center. Uh, he said we should be fine there So we're just gonna do it there I guess and it's perfect because there's like a little road there we could do like the little drive-bys for so it is what it is Camera's truck is so clean so, so clean. I wanted a Cummins, truth be told. I wanted a Cummins before I got this. I mean, I've always wanted a LBZ, but like, I've also wanted a Cummins. I mean, I'm just an enthusiast anyway, so, as you can tell. What is going on, Ham Fan? We finally made it to the new spot, because we got kicked out of the mall. It was all good, though. But, made it here with Cameron and his sick-ass Cummins. What up? Can't wait to do exhaust review for you guys but we're also going to do a walk around as well uh basically just want to get a quick comparison about how a five inch exhaust sounds on the lbz versus the six seven cummins with the upgraded turbo uh it's not going to be a true comparison because he has an upgraded turbo and everything but it'll still be pretty nasty i think so we're going to hop in his truck we're going to do like a startup some little half revs and then we're going to do a drive by on this road right here and then we'll do the exact same thing on mine stay tuned so loud. I think it's so loud. Hop on <laughs> in. It's the spool bus. I'm in the spool bus. Want no tickets. I'm trying to get locked up over here. <laughs> Got that cola. No one should steal that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm fucking run them over first. Guys, drop a like for that. That thing sounds so sexy. I don't know how really mine. I don't know how mine sounds, you know, off camera. But I guess we're about to find out. I'll let him drive it. That thing is so loud. Before we get in mine, who thinks it's gonna be louder? I know it's gonna be his, but drop a comment before you even hear mine. Who thinks it's gonna be louder? I haven't heard my truck outside yet, I don't think. Dude, this sounds nice. <laughs> you gonna like it.
That should be a, that should be a good comparison. Hopefully, all guys can hear that. I think, obviously, mine has more whistle because it's a smaller turbo, but his is way louder. So, drop a comment down below if you like that. Now, we're about to go over there, talk about camera's truck with him, and he's gonna give you all the down low and dirty nasties about what he's got done to it. Stay tuned. Could you drive one? What? Could you drive one? Yeah, man. You could have one? <laughs> oh, wait. One of these? Yeah. Dude, I like it, man. <laughs> it's like, it has its own nostalgia in it, man. I fuck, I haven't drove a Duramax in a hot minute, man. I like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just had the drive-by on both the trucks. I'm here with Cameron now, and he's going to tell us all about his truck. And uh, I'm pretty excited for it. I hope you are as well. So, Cameron, just give me the rundown, the basic year, model, make, and why you chose this truck. You got it, man. What's going on, everybody? My name is Cameron Piggott. I'm a YouTuber just like Christian over here, everything diesel. Uh, so, first things off the bat, this is a 2008 Dodge Ram 2500 with a 6.7 Cummins. Uh, I got this truck because I came from a 6.0 Power Stroke back in 2016, which was a, it was a good truck, but it wasn't maintenance friendly. It had a lot of issues. I wanted something I can reliable. I could work on myself in my driveway, and it looks good. And this third gen Mega Cab, it was it for me. Um, I've had this truck since 2016, so four years now. Everything I've done on this truck has been done by myself, except recently my axles. I recently got my gears swapped uh, up to 430 gears. Everything else I've done myself. I take pride in that. Uh, my channel, everybody knows my channel about that too. Uh, so we can go ahead and start doing a walk around on here. So first thing off the bat, since we're right here on the front corner, I got me some eBay. That's another thing about my, my truck I love is that I consider my truck a budget build because I'm just a normal dude. I don't have tons of money. I don't have a credit, an endless credit card. So this is a budget build, but I try to make it look as good as possible. Yes, I, sir. <laughs> I have a, that's right, man. That's what it's about. I got eBay. Uh, these are spec detuning headlights off of eBay. They are three years old, and I mean, they still look good. Um, a buddy of mine on YouTube sent me out some uh, vinyls for the top that I sticked on to the top. I have switchback uh, LEDs on here, along with last fit LED uh, low beam bulbs, super bright at night. I love it. Also running last fit, sorry about that. <laughs> I also got last fit uh, LED fog lights, uh, super bright at night. It, 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 it goes from like tunnel vision to like, you know, 45 degree vision driving at night. That's uh, as we come around here, I debadged the entire truck. I took off that. I went ahead and did a black Cummins turbo diesel badge and that's it. I wanted to keep it clean yet classy. I, you gotta let people know you got a Cummins. Of course. You know, you got posers sometimes <laughs> running around with the Hemi saying they got a 2500 and stuff. So after that, suspension, we have a Rough Country five inch uh, lift kit with a two and a half inch spacer on top. So that kind of levels the truck out to be able to turn and clear these uh, 14 wides. As we come along here, I got fourth gen tow mirrors, color match painted white. I had these professionally uh, paint matched. So traditionally on your third gens, they don't come with this one. They come with the third gen style that does not have the side turn signals. Right. Uh, I got these color matched uh, eBay. These, these are eBay tow mirrors. Uh, I think I paid like 160 bucks for them. Got them painted at the shop. Uh, we come around, tinted, windows are tinted. 15% all around it window windshield is tinted either 50 or 40% I really don't know um, but it's dark on the inside at night and then you can't see in it at the daytime uh, I like it so you know it looks clean what about the amp tips oh are these amps yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we got that so we got amp. I forgot about that so we got amp uh, power steps huge investment if you oh, have yeah. a list a lifted truck um, it's definitely worth it because no more do I have to drag my butt into the truck <laughs> to be able to get in and stuff so it's real nice to be able to have uh, you know, I have it wired, hard wired into the truck. So when I close it, it goes up pretty much immediately. So definitely good stuff. 
Uh, we come over here, oh, bed cover. So I recently installed this in this video on my channel. This is a Paragon truck bed cover, uh, made in the USA, made to order, based out of Wisconsin. Uh, awesome company to work with. So I recently put that on. Uh, did you get a custom powder coat of yellow? Yeah, right? man, that's that pollen special, man. <laughs> Prismatic, <laughs> Prismatic has a pollen special powder coat. Uh, it's free, and all you have to do is park your truck outside, and it'll just naturally get on there. So <laughs> I love it, man. I love it, <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll, it works itself out. <laughs> so we come back here to the tailgate section. We got uh, eBay special LED uh, tail lights. These are regular $160 eBay tail lights. I took apart, custom painted gold with the white uh, LED bar on the inside. It's my pride and joy. I went ahead and color matched the bumper. Uh, white and replace the bumper trim. So I got rid of the faded black one put a brand new black bumper trim on here And then I also went ahead and put brand new LED uh, LED uh, license plate lights on here. I also got a BMW uh, Ball fucking hitch receiver. I got a uh, two inch with also a two and five sixteen So when I talk when I when I when I haul my heavy 500 pound John boat it stays on so. <laughs> Now y'all he actually did this himself this paint job is not professional it's, unless he calls himself professional nah, I'm nah. Doing, doing but hey home. it looks so good I'm doing, I'm like, doing honestly. Home novice, man. and these tail lights real quick these things look so sexy for Thank a do-it-yourself do build like at nighttime these things are amazing yeah. and little so good. it's better than paying a thousand dollars for a company and you save yourself a thousand dollars do it yourself uh for exhaust now i know uh christian was already talking about it but i got a, a five inch straight uh straight back from the turbo five inch flow pro, flow pro exhaust with a eight inch tip the tip's nothing special it's just a 40 dollars amazon tip it sounds great when i'm driving cab drone's not that bad i'm used to it by now and i also just turn my radio up so whatever yes sir we got a competition we got a clap there? box over there oh we got somebody, <laughs> somebody messing around they challenging got the instagram channel or the instagram page everything underscore diesel go ahead and follow that y'all check them out like and subscribe like and subscribe. it'll be in the description i appreciate it i really appreciate it man the last thing we'll talk about before we pop the hood is going to be the wheel setup so my wheel setup is 24 by 14 negative 76 offset fuel forge ff 05s uh, I recently got these put on the truck, or I put them on the truck back in February. Uh, brand new, custom made to order. It's a good wheel. I keep them polished religiously. Uh, and I got 24 by, or I have 24 by 13 and a half R24 amp terrain mud tires, which I really like and highly recommend. If you are looking into MT tires, do not sleep on amp terrain mud tires. They are really good, super quiet for mud tires, and they actually ride really good. I run mine at about 50 psi, and it rides. Phenomenal. We'll let I'll let Christian be the judge of that later yes, on. Yes, sir. I get so, to drive this beast. <laughs> oh, snap, I forgot one more thing. So we got my this grill is an OE grill, but I painted it like three years ago. It's super faded and disgusting right now. But we currently have a grill being made, and this is the first time I'm actually announcing this. We have mm -hmm. a grill being made uh, by a company I'm not gonna say yet, but we have a custom grill being made. <laughs> We, <laughs> we have a 42 inch um, ox beam curved RGB uh, light bar. I do a lot of hunting. So I hunt on trails, deer hunting and duck hunting. So in the early mornings when I'm going down trails and stuff, it's real dark. This lights up everything I need more than enough. Uh, down here for suspension, we have uh, heavy duty crossover Heim joint steering from Kevin Rannett's Ironworks uh, based out of Idaho. Uh, if you guys have heard of, of RI Fab, he is, um, He's the guy that made my suspension. Currently got long arms in the process of getting installed in conjunction with track bars, getting installed as well. So for y'all, oh, and then last thing, can't forget, we have the Amazon special uh, smoked out cab or cab lights, or what is it? Yeah, yeah, cab lights. <laughs> uh, they're good, they still work, don't leak, so I love them. So now we come to where everybody tries to get to first, it's gonna be the engine. Uh, starting off from the front, we have a Smedin Diesel S467 turbo with a billet wheel. It's a 467-87 with a 1.0 AR. Uh, long story short, it's a good all-around turbo, city driving, highway driving. If you wanna get freaky on the weekends, it's a good turbo. On stock fuel, it's, it's good, but it, it really thrives and shines if you have fuel in your truck, you know, a 10 mil CP3. Uh, maybe you throw some 90 horse injectors in your truck if you have a 6.7. These 467s will thrive with that setup. Uh, we also have an intake manifold. I, I, I tell people it's a pusher, but it's really just an eBay $80 intake uh, horn. Mm -hmm. it, it does good for me. Yep. So we got Misha Motor Intercooler three and upgrade from standard three inch piping to three and a half inch. This thing's massive. It pushes so much air into your engine. Um, 
Intercoolers are something that's really slept on on diesel trucks, but it's, it definitely makes an improvement with EGTs, spool up time, and just the engine performance. Uh, we also have a fuel rail plug. You can't really see it right now, but there's a fuel rail plug installed on here. Uh, it is tuned, deleted. Uh, I'm not gonna say who is tuned by just because the whole like what's going on with the whole diesel industry, mm -hmm. but it is tuned and deleted. ES, uh, EFI Live CSP5 switch on the fly, tuning on the inside. Uh, for the uh, trans, it's a stock 68 RFE trans, except I have trans tuning from HS Mini Max. So I was able to turn up my line pressure and, and play with my shift points a little bit. I also have a ATS valve body uh, gr uh, gasket upgrade, which allows for the line pressure to be able to hold at a higher PSI. And it also minimizes cross leaks in the valve body, which is a, a number one cause in these transmissions for slippage in the clutch packs and stuff. So after that, we come on the inside inside it ain't, it ain't all there's not a whole lot going on in here but if he gets up in there he can see i have a, a ascts2 uh monitor awesome monitor very informative i have glow shift gauges for exhaust temp egt's uh boost and fuel pressure very big another thing i forgot to mention i do have the air dog 165 yes, 4g it's actually right there uh recently just did filters on it so Boom. she's getting that premium fuel clean stuff uh radio got a kenwood uh i don't remember the model number it's like a dmx something but it's a good it has android apple play on it really good uh this does have the airbag suspension in the back for towing so i keep underneath my steering wheel i keep a little there's a little gauge in there somewhere yeah right there mm -hmm. so that way you can do that oh that's nice i need those it's, it's good it's good when you're towing stuff man it's definitely good um other than that though it's really a basic excuse the car seat and stuff <laughs> Other than that, though, this interior is pretty much basic. You know, I got a dash mat up there with all my patches and stuff for my units and stuff, places I've been in the Marine Corps. Um, but yeah, this is my baby, man. Uh, I take pride in my truck. I love working on diesel trucks. I love diesel, anything diesel. I love it. Even a little Volkswagen. Yeah, jam. Shout out to jam handles. <laughs> Even, um, you know, the little Volkswagen TDIs and stuff. I, I just like diesel. I think the concept of it is amazing how uh, something can have so much combustion and compression, uh, such a high compression ratio, and yet it's so efficient. It's more efficient than gasoline. I, I just love that concept about it. So definitely. All right, uh -huh. so what some people probably don't know, if you haven't seen his channel yet, he actually has new suspension coming up. He's getting rid of all the new steering, or all the old steering, should I say, and putting some new stuff on it. So let me just ask him why he went with that company and how big of a lift kit he's upgrading to. So. So for uh, suspension, the brand is actually unknown. I was on Marketplace and I saw an eight inch lift for a 2008 Dodge Ram 2500. It was like 175 bucks. He did not know the brand name because he took it off a customer's truck, but it was an eight inch lift and I have a five inch and I want to go higher. So I went and bought it. It was, a, it was actually in South Carolina, uh, Florence. Yeah. yeah, it was even Florence yeah. actually. I went to Florence, yeah. Um, we have an eight inch lift coming up. I'm going to be upgrading the shocks from the Rough Country shocks to Fox 2.0 uh, single monotube shocks. Front steering is going to be getting removed uh, soon just because Heim joint steering is a good concept and it's practical for off road buggies and like stuff like that. But for everyday street driving, Heim joints really is. It's, it's not there, it's too rigid. So I have a lot of, not a lot, but I have bumps here. Uh, the, the hardware gets loose constantly. I have to tighten it and stuff. So I'm taking it off. I'm gonna be doing Moog 4th uh, Gen upgraded steering with regular tie rod ends and stuff. I also got a redhead steering gearbox at the house that I'm gonna be putting on soon. I'm waiting on a pitman arm. I ordered a new pitman arm because my rough country pitman arm is shot. It's all wallowed out. We got that. I got a BD steering brace that I'm gonna be putting on. And then I also have Bilstein 5100 dual steering stabilizer shocks for the steering so it's it i'm i'm and i'm also ball joints i'm also going to be uh, doing four new ball joints so i'm my channel followers know that like i'm in the process right now of trying to solidify and find the the true fix to dodge steering because everybody knows about dodge steering so mm -hmm. i think i'm on it um i'm anxious i'm actually going to be start working on it tomorrow so we're, we're going to find out what happens that about does it for the wraparound of his vehicle. Uh, I really love it. I'm sure you guys will as well. Uh, like I said, his channel will, will be in the description. Be sure to like and subscribe on his channel as well. It really helps him out. And uh, he's definitely going to continue building this thing for a long time. And I can't wait to see it. It's going to be so nice when he gets that new suspension on there. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> I can't wait. It's good times, man. It's good times, man. It's a, you can never go wrong working on diesel right now, especially with all this downtime, man. I mean, I tell you what, you we got all this time. You know, my truck's dirty right now. I need to wash it. I got stuff I need to do there. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention was I recently dynoed my truck. So for you horsepower buffs out there, uh, my truck roughly made about 1,200 horsepower, 1,200 foot pounds 
with about 500, 520 horsepower. The dyno was a little funky that day, but it roughly is around that. So we're looking at a, I, I feel confident saying it's a 500 horsepower truck, even though that's not a whole lot, but you know, mm -hmm. it's something. something. 1,200 foot pounds torque, that'll, that'll get up and going real fast. Yeah, that'll pull, that'll pull for sure. That'll move some weight. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I enjoyed coming out here, having a great day outside. It is a beautiful day in North Carolina. I couldn't ask for a better day, to be honest, especially to look at these two big white girls right here. They look really good together. Uh, if you like this channel or if you like this video today, be sure to drop a like and comment if you would like to see some more videos like this because I would love to do it. I'm sure Camel would as well. And who knows, we might be coming to this house to install some parts soon. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yes, sir. But hey, y'all take it easy and y'all have a great day. She love, I'm piping Sipping, cold drink